Hi guys, my name is Kim and you're watching The Dark Lizard and in today's video I want to talk how I care for my ball python and her enclosure and everything. You can see I have a homemade enclosure made from this wood and you can see I have four heights inside. One height is here, she can go over here. I often see her hiding between these two cook barks and one big hide here and you can see this small place between cook barks she's often there so yeah I want to show you like you see over there she, she, she's often over there and yeah uh, you need to give them like water dish uh, you need to give them like warm spot heating spot whatever they need like cooler side of enclosure and more hot side of enclosure warm side she has heating spot over there you can see she's often on her height and you can see I have co cocoa fiber mixed with some of this how you say cook box and pieces of wood and everything so yeah inside I have isopods they are cleaning a group in this terrarium uh, they clean poops mold everything and you can see this this is not like 100% dry this is because I have inside isopods and they and springtails they need to have like community to live so I give them like 40% of of uh, how I can say this like uh, wet uh, wet in wet, wet in substrate and all 60% uh, dry uh, substrate you can see I have like this is good for her but I don't want to have uh, to her food to have like a lot of this substrate on because this is not really good for her. You can see she's in a pre mold. We don't handling snakes when they are pre mold. So yeah, you can see her white eyes. And if you are wondering, what are these? Just a second. These spots. My phone don't want to zoom in. You can see like tiny holes in her face. This is just for heat, they actually measure heat with this, so yeah. Uh, I I give her live food, mouses, you can see in this box I have like mouses, I give them like hamster food, like seeds for birds and everything, you can see I have carrot and dar and everything. and. Don't babies come here. I want to show you. Oh my god, <laughs> they are so small. You can see right there. I have baby mouses, and I what why I give them this? I give them them uh, this because I don't like to have like uh, pieces of wood and everything because they can make holes in this and they can hide in these holes so yeah this is good for them uh this is not like this is don't have like really a lot of smell it's good to ventilation it's this is not like in inside of this terrarium is not is not mold you need to give them like this uh, for water you can see i have i think this is my female Yes, she's she's probably gonna have like a lot of babies because you can see her belly. And where is my male? Is this my male, or is this another female? Probably is female. And I actually have problems with my mouses because in one point uh, they just started to dying like baby mouses, and they 
you can see they have a lot of hairs on the or their face but mouses which these mouses are not like this is good but like mouses who are not uh, like good they don't have like a lot of hairs on their face and they have like uh, really small eyes they don't see really well they have problems with uh, with uh, you can see this is good tail and they are have like they you can see uh, bones in their ha in their uh, how they have like bones in their tails so yeah they are I'm sorry if you don't understand me, but I don't know how you say all of this stuff. I give them like three times a, a week. I give them this food. Uh, sometimes I give them like uh, some of the insects because this is good for, him, for them. So if you like this video, go check my previous ones. Subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up, comment something. So yeah, see you next time.